Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and they are back. The Winter Blades Factor. This is the B3, the new version. We're gonna talk about the differences between the B3 and the B2, but on May 24th, they will be exclusively at Winter Blades. He will have a few hundred B2s available, so the second version's available. Like I said, there's some subtle differences between this one and the B2, and then the B3, which this one is, will be up for pre-order on the same day. So you'd be able to buy B2s outright, but there's only a few hundred, so, you know, here's your uh, chance, I guess, or your chance to pre-order and get the B3. We're gonna talk about the differences between them here in one second. So we have a Damascus blade, which the Damascus will be a little bit more expensive than the M390. I think the M390 is like 375. These will probably be about 400 bucks, so not too bad. It's not damaged steel. It is a, I believe it's a powdered steel 9CR Damascus, which means that it's the same type of process that they use for the, the damaged steel. And to be honest, guys, there's not much difference. Like, and I, from my testings too, there's not, there's hardly any difference from damaged steel and that powdered 9CR. Now, the one difference is going to be is RWL 34 is what's in damaged steel, and this is 9CR, which RWL 34 it has a little bit better edge retention than 9CR, but not by much. Like, it's very, very little. And you know, being a powdered steel, you know, you're, it's not going to be like a regular 9CR. Powdered steel is going to be tougher, and it's going to have slightly more edge retention anyways but beautiful pattern man this thing gorgeous gorgeous pattern very very well done the geometry is super thin amazing amazing geometry then we have a micro milled titanium handle look at that micro milling and look at the I man just man this thing is so gorgeous i love all this machining all the milling you can feel this milling too it's deep it's nice and scratchy, which is, I, I love it. Then you have a beautiful titanium milled pocket clip. And then the as far as the back spring goes, you can get it closed up. So it's just one solid piece. Or you can get it with the back spring that where you can flip it like I just did in a carbon fiber or maybe the G10 one. Now, mine's a prototype version. So mine has T6s, but all the, the production ones will be T8s. So just so you guys know. But if you don't know about this knife, go and watch my full review. I break it down extremely well in that, very in-depth, but just to break it down very quickly for you, basically this knife is very innovative and very awesome because it's using magnets. It uses magnets for the lock and magnets for the detent. There which are two ends on each magnet. One is called the North Pole and the other is called the South Pole. Want to know an interesting fact? The north and south poles of a magnet are attracted to each other and will always be pulled towards each other when they are near the other. But the same poles of two different magnets will push apart or repel the other. And the result is a very, very fidgety, very satisfying, very clean, consistent breaking action that's super duper solid. And, and you know, it's just, it's so awesome. And then you have this unique flipper tab or flipper style, but you also can get this closed off if you want there there is that that option but i just wanted to to break it down really quickly just in case most likely you know about this but just in case if you didn't the sharpening tool and plunge grind is really good ergonomics are really good it's not a hard use knife so you can feel all this if you're really bearing down but it's not that kind of knife anyways and you know for all the grips you're actually going to use it with it is fantastic and you know i i got to give brian winter so much credit because he's been the probably the most innovative knife maker or knife designer in a very very long time and i love it i absolutely love it and i'm not saying there hasn't been other uh very innovative knife designers and stuff but his stuff is over the top and i can't wait to see what's coming next from him i'm always excited about what he's doing next and hopefully we see some more out of him in 2023 i know i'm rooting for that because i have some some incredible videos that i want to put together <laughs> if so <laughs> anyways the subtle differences so one, in the first version, the B2, he had two magnets down here, right? Two magnets, but they were glued in, which made for a really, really good detent. Now, this 
also has a really, really good detent, but it uses one magnet. So it has one magnet on one side instead of both sides. And the reason why that is, is because it's made so that you can replace it. So you can take the magnet out and replace it with a new magnet if you want. I'm not sure if there's going to be different strengths of magnets that you could replace it with or anything like that. It has, in my opinion, what you would expect as a perfect detent. It's really, really good. My first factor is slightly stronger detent, but this one is slightly stronger than the B2. I guess the B2 is a little bit lighter than this one, but this is perfect. So as far as the B3, if you're gonna pre-order, you'll be very happy with the detent. And I have no doubt with the B2, you'll still be very happy because these detents are so good that, yeah. Um, I think it's amazing what uh, Brian Winters has done with the magnetic detent. It is some of the most consistent braking detents I've ever experienced and ever felt. And it has a very unique feeling to it. So that's kind of the, I'm not going to say that's the only thing, you know, but that is one of the big things that, that makes this so awesome is just the way that detent breaks and the type of action it has. It, it's such a clean, clean break. You, it, when you first feel it, it, it is very unique. You're like, man, that's different. Um, in a good way, though. It's very satisfying. Then the magnetic lock. You have a magnet that sucks up here under the blade. I do have a full review, by the way, of the factory. You guys can go check that out. Um, it is very detailed, and it is a full review. But just a quick update. The, the magnet gets sucked up behind the blade right there and it makes an incredibly strong lockup like my other factor as much as it's been used and flipped not a not even a, a hint of play you you'd be surprised how solid this knife feels because looking at it you'd be like yeah right <laughs> yeah right no it really is it, it, it is rock solid it's amazing how solid it is but you know the magnet pulling itself up into a locked position is what creates that because it's not like a regular lock where it's kind of just wedged there this is actually constantly pulling up which i guess in some you know with a lot of locks the spring tension is constantly pushing it into a locked position so i guess you know that that um doesn't mean that that, um, you can't have a very strong lockup from regular locks. I'm just saying this is a great way for a locking mechanism to work and it's very satisfying. But but yeah, I just wanted to run this past you guys and let you guys see what is coming soon so you guys have a heads up. I know a lot of you guys missed out on it before um, and you know I will be featuring it in more videos as we move along. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, peace.